guys, I'm CJ and I am back for another video and I thought today we'd do kind of a different type of fun video. I wanted to come up with a, a tag video that wasn't something like doing your makeup with a tampon or something weird like that. And I wanted to make it obviously a skincare edition. So today I'm putting together a video that's going to be a skincare routine using only samples. You know, every time you make like an order or I do little swaps with people, you get a bunch of samples. And personally, I know a lot of people will use samples when they're traveling and if you're on a plane and you're a business person and you're traveling here and there, it's really nice to be able to take samples and do a full skincare routine. But for me, 99% of my traveling is to horse shows and it's with a truck and trailer. So I have a 55 foot horse trailer and a 25 foot semi that I drive. I have plenty of space. So when I go to horse shows, I just take my full like real products. I take full size products with me because I have the room to, so why not? So samples end up just kind of piling up and then I have all these samples and I don't ever really use them because I don't think about it and it's kind of Scary to use different products, you know what I mean? It's hard to just like throw up one sample in. I don't know if it did anything or not. So I thought it would be fun. I'm gonna sit down and do a full skincare routine using only samples. If you like it, then I could do like a nighttime skincare routine. So you'll have to let me know in the comments down below. But also I'm gonna tag a bunch of my YouTube friends down in the description bar. So I'm gonna tag people like Marie from And The Color Green, Trish, probably Kristen, and I'm gonna just challenge each and every one of you to try to put together a skincare routine using only samples. Now, of course, I don't have a sample for everything, every step of my skincare routine, but I have quite a few, so I can pretty much put together a pretty good routine. So if you like the idea of this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And let me know down below, like I said, if you wanna see another video, like a nighttime routine using only samples. All right, guys, so that's it. I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get right into this video because it's gonna take a minute. So it's Saturday morning. I just got back from the gym and usually I would do some type of like deep cleanse and like a multi-masking session. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. As far as cleansers go, I only have one option and it's a scrub. So we're gonna go with that one. So all of these are gonna be first impressions because I have little to absolutely no experience with most of these products and actually a lot of these brands I'm unfamiliar with as well. So we're just going for it. This is the Phytomer Marine Scrub and it says you're supposed to apply a small amount of the product to the entire face and neck over dry and wet skin. So I think you can do it over dry and wet skin. So we're gonna go ahead and just do it on dry skin right now and then I'll rinse it off and then we'll go with the first mask. So it looks like this. It's got little scrubby bits in it and it's got kind of a florally scent. It's very light though. So I'm just gonna put it all over my face and neck. You know, it's a sample. It's, it's a cream scrub, so it's not gonna be as harsh generally. There are little scrubby bits in here. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be too intense, which is good because I'm gonna be doing an exfoliating mask probably next. I have a couple mask options, but I think I usually like to do some kind of like either an exfoliating mask and then a, a clay mask or like an exfoliating mask and then a hydrating mask. I like to do something kind of in that regard. So this is nice. It's not super scrubby. I don't know what the little scrubby bits are. It kind of feels like charcoal or something. I don't know if you can see the little black flecks on my hand, but there's little black scrubby bits. The cream portion of the cleanser is kind of absorbing to my skin. So that's that. I'm gonna go rinse this off and I'll be right back to put on the first, first of many masks. All right, so I just rinsed off that Phytomer mask. I think that anybody could use that. It really wasn't super exfoliating. So I think if you have sensitive skin or maybe just want a nice gentle exfoliating scrub, it's not gonna be anything too harsh. So I think you could use something like that a few times a week and really get away with it. My skin doesn't feel super exfoliated, but it does feel soft. So that's a nice little prep step. So next mask wise, I have, I have these little guys. So I, I usually keep my samples in this container, little Tiffany's blue box, but for now I just have these. So the first mask I have is a Sephora clay mask. Then I have a Sunita's pineapple mask and a pumpkin enzyme mask. So I think I'm gonna go with the pumpkin enzyme mask because I would do something like the Peter Thomas Roth, a pumpkin enzyme mask because we're gonna see if this is at all similar. You're supposed to apply this to clean damp skin and leave on for 10 minutes and then rinse with tepid water. So I'm gonna squish it out into my hand so it doesn't look at all anything like the Peter Thomas Roth. So the Peter Thomas Roth, I'm gonna say that 25,000 times, is kind of 
like pumpkin pie filling. It's very gritty. It has some chemical and some physical exfoliants. So it says apply it to damp skin. So we're going to use a toner sample. This is the Red Flower Ionized Vita Toning Flower Mist. So that's what the little pumpkin mask looks like. Not what I was expecting. And you're supposed to put it on damp skin. So this smells really good. This kind of smells like the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. So the Sanitas mask is a gel, not what I was expecting. It does smell of pumpkin pie. Not pumpkin pumpkin, but pumpkin pie. It's kind of got some, a little bit of a cinnamony clove scent to it. I feel like this mask is going to probably really absorb into the skin more than anything. There wasn't a ton in that sample, but it got the job done. So it's all over. I have it all over my skin. The Sanitas mask is kind of warming up on the skin. It's not burning or tingling, but it's just warming up. So I'll come back in 10 minutes and let you know what that felt like. All right guys, so I just finished rinsing off the Sanitas pumpkin mask and honestly it was kind of weird. It s formed a seal on my skin, like an overnight mask, very similar feeling to the Cosrx honey mask. So I don't really feel that it did a lot of exfoliating. That's not something that I would purchase in the future. It was super gentle. I do think though, if you had very sensitive skin or didn't want to over exfoliate your skin, I think that would be a nice option. But if you are an experienced acid user or somebody who likes to get a little bit more exfoliation, that's probably not going to be the product for you. I think you'll be a little underwhelmed. So next, because I only have these, another exfoliating mask and a clay mask, we're gonna go in with this Phytomer Moisturizing Mask. So as far as I know, this is a Korean brand. Yep, made in Korea. And it says it's dermatologically tested, or whatever that's worth. Um, and it comes in this cute little pod. Ooh, so this is kind of fun. This is like a gel mask and it has some stuff in it. Like little leaves. It looks like the Amore Pacific Vintage, the mask that goes with the Amore Pacific Essence, the little vintage green tea mask, which I really like actually. So I have absolutely no clue what's in this or what it's about. Of course, I will link all of these little samples in the description right down below if you're interested in any of them. But I'll be interested to see, it says cold brewed wild plants to revitalize the skin. So I'm almost wondering if it's like they steep the plants like tea or something like that. I don't. I don't know, but this really does smell and look very similarly to the Amore Pacific vintage green tea mask. And honestly, I'm gonna just use this whole pod because it's not like I'm gonna save it. So we're gonna go ham. <laughs> it smells like kind of medicinal, very, I can never say this word, hanbang, han, I'll put it right here, hanbang, han, hanbang, hanbang. Is that smell very traditional Korean herbal scent. Kind of like a Solwasu smell. We have a lot going on here. It's dripping all over my hand and arm. I better be moisturized to the gods though is all I'm gonna say. This is a lot more than I was expecting. So a normal person would probably, normal, a normal person would have probably done two or three uses out of this, but we went with one because why? Because we want to. So we're gonna, just really go for it. So this is a nice, really thin gel consistency. Looks like this on the skin. You can see the little plants, leaves. We're gonna put it on our hands. Oh, in the eye. Didn't hurt my eye though, so that's a plus. Oh, my eyes look cool. So that's what that looks like. It's a moisturizing mask, so I'm guessing you can leave it on for however long. So we're gonna leave it for, let's say 15 or 20 minutes. I'm going to hop in the shower, do my shower stuff de-stink. I really smell quite terrible right now. And I'm gonna let this just do its magic and then I'll come back and we'll get into the magic of this skincare routine. All right, so I'll be back in however long you're gonna see me. And just like Lord Voldemort, I'm back. Anyways, you guys, let me tell you, this Fido Vital Mask, freaking like, I used this whole thing, you saw it. Totally absorbed in my skin, left a very little film over my skin. It felt great on the skin. It smelled really nice. It didn't seem like it was fragrance. It just seemed like a very natural tea scent. And I took probably 
It was probably 25 minutes since I left and then got in the shower and everything. And in that time, that full thing completely absorbed in my hand, on my face, on my neck, and it feels really, really good. So now I promise we're gonna get into the exciting part of this video. So I don't have a first treatment essence, I don't think. The only essence type product that I have is this one by History of Wu. This is the Hua Hyun Essence. I promise after this, this is the last single product. Then we're gonna go into the full, full situation. So we're gonna use this History of Wu, Wu Hua Hyun Essence. I know they have a couple different essences, so I don't know if this is an essence that's considered like a serum type product. I know absolutely nothing about it. This looks like a serum? So it looks like this. This is not a conventional essence like I was expecting. So we're gonna go ahead and just roll with it, all right? So we're gonna go, because this isn't a liquid essence, we're gonna put this toner on. This is my only toner. We're gonna do this. I like this, smells really nice. Again, that's the red flower ionizing vital toning mist. And then we're gonna use this little essence. Seems really thin, very light scent. It's not super floral like a lot of their products tend to be. Seems to be absorbing quite quickly. Or at least is going into the skin quite quickly. So next, now we're gonna start getting into the real shit, yo. So we have a bunch of products. So. First things first, we're gonna go probably, because I did kind of a weird serum-y essence thing, that is almost absorbed into the skin. That's interesting. I'm curious about that product. But, might be a little silicone-y. We're gonna go in with a couple serum products. Now this is where we have a little bit more, a little bit more to work with. So we have, ah! We have some stuff. So I have a Swasu Time Renovating Rejuvenating Serum. I have an Aven Hydrating Essence. Sawasu Lifting Hydrating Serum, we have a NARS Brightening Serum, a little uh, red flower type of one. I didn't know NARS made skincare, but apparently they have a brightening serum. Uh, we have a Benton product, fuck, Benton Essence, could have used that, too late now. And then we have some Sawasu products. So let's go, I had an idea, let's use this Sawasu Moisturizing, hydrating, lifting essence. See what that looks like. I'm gonna do another mist too, just because I can. Okay. Now, we'll see if this is one use, if it's seven uses, we're gonna find out. So it looks like this, hydrating. I'm assuming this is gonna be kind of a, whoo, creamy gel. It's, nothing is, a what I'm expecting. I thought this was gonna be kind of a gel. This is kind of a emulsion-y type cream. We're gonna go with it. That's the serum, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I also have some eye serums that we're gonna go with. So I'm gonna do this as this does its deal. We'll go with an eye serum. We're gonna be doing the most. So eye serum wise, I think I have two. What do we have? We got a lot, a lot going on here. So here are the eye products. There are many. So we have the Advanced Night Repair Eye Matrix Repair Serum. We also have it in a little pamphlet book. We have some bombs. We need a serum though, we need a serum. So we're gonna go with Arginine. Eye fluid? What the fuck is an eye fluid? Okay, so this one I love. This is the Amore Pacific Eye Serum. This is super good. Now it's 90 or $99 for this thing. I'm sure it doesn't come in a full ounce because eye products don't. I love the application method. It's a click pen, so you click, it dispenses, and then it has a metal roller ball. It's really, 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 really nice. I love this one, so I'm not gonna use it because I do have some experience with it. And we're trying new stuff here. We're going for some new, new things. We have a pharmacy I do. I'm thinking, let's go with this Suzanne Kaufman Normal Combination Eye Fluid Line F. So I don't know, this is a, it's has some wild yam root, it has some aloe vera, some chamomile, some hydroluronic, hydroluron. We're going for it. I don't know if it's a serum, an essence, a cream, a moisturizer. It seems like a very big thing for it though. Okay, looks like this. Seems like it may be light 
cream emulsion, we're just going to use it, you know? We're just, we're doing it. If this video is fun, like I said, I could do a nighttime one and we'll go full, full ham. I, I might have used a lot. We're going to pat that in a little bit. So the more Pacific one is more of like a, kind of like the Algenist eye gel that I really like. It's more of a gel. So it sits really well under an eye cream. And to be totally honest, guys, I don't go through eye products that quickly because I only use eye products like a couple days a week. I really don't think about using them. I did not use the full thing, so we're going to set this to the side. That smells like, like it has absolutely no fragrance, no essential oil. It just smells like dirt. While that's doing its thing, we're going to do one more serum just because... Because we can. Let's try this one. So this is the Red Flower Illuminating Rose Collagen Renewal Face Serum. This has wild rose oil, cloudberry seed oil. So this is like an oil, this is like an oil serum. I don't think we want an oil serum right now. Let's go with this brightening serum. Fuck it. Sulwasu Snow Eyes X Brightening Serum. This one. Okay, this is a gel. I'm shook, you guys. This is... I expected the hydrating one to be a gel, and this one to be a cream, and this is a gel, the other one was a cream. This kind of looks like snot, or like boogers. So we're gonna do another mist mist. I like this mist a lot, actually. It smells really nice. And then, gonna brighten our skin. This one has no scent. No scent at all. I'm surprised. A lot of these brands and products usually have added fragrance and scent, and either these products that I'm using today don't, or, yeah, I don't smell anything. We're gonna put it on the hand so our skin, skin on our hand looks nice and baby-like. So that's all for the serums right now. We're gonna put these back in case you guys wanna see a PM routine. Let's go, we're gonna wait on the eye cream for a minute. I like to do eye cream about over the top of a moisturizer just as that's how I do things. I know everybody does things differently. So, we're gonna go with moisturizer. Oh, I have oils. I have a couple oils too. So oil-wise, I have this Savor Beauty 3 Renew Pumpkin Serum Oil. I have the Nectar Vital Rose Drops from Osmia. And then I have the, I have a lot of red flower. That's because Trish gave it to me. Then I have the Red Flower Essential Omega Fresh Berry Oil Serum. So I really would like to try maybe in the PM Routine one, this illuminating one, it has like oil and omega and everything. Seems like it'd be a nice little product. But for cream, cream, we've got a lot. So moisturizers are probably the most, most that I have. So I have, the one I'm most interested in actually is this Amora Vixa Intensive Hydrating, Hydra Lifting Cream. I've never tried a single Amora Vixa, Amora Vixa product. Might need that one. I have a sample of the Luxme Cream. I have this Eclado, Eclado Laboratory Cell Memory Cream. This is Korean. And then, you guys, I got a full stack of cards here. I have this Tone Up Nature Republic Cream with SPF. I have the Solwasu Hydroaid Firming Cream, Hydrating Firming Cream. I will say all of those products have soaked in really well. So, I have this Pyrometic Pro Vitamin B5. I have a Sanitas Moisture Factor Cream. I uh, have the Charlotte Tilbury Cream, Phyto Vital Revitalizing Cream. We've got Sulwasu Essential Firming Cream. Ooh, we have some La Mer Moisturizing Cream. I think, and the Brightening Cream. I think we're gonna go in with, I'm kind of between Amora Vixa and Charlotte Tilbury. Let's go with the Amora Vixa one. Let's see. Well, we'll put this on by itself. I was gonna say I can mix it with an oil, but. I like to do oil and then moisturizer, that's just for me, but this is essential hydrating, so I'm wondering if it's going to be... No. So I was thinking maybe it was going to be like a gel. It looks... Well, it's kind of like a gel, gel cream. Let's do this and then we'll do the oil over the top. I generally like oil and then moisturizer because I want the oil, really good oil ingredients on my skin and then a moisturizer, but because this is kind of like a gel, I would put a gel because it's water-based under an oil. I think you could do whatever, but that's just how I'm going to do it. Another mist because we want to seal the hydration in, and then I'm just going to take, I don't know, a glop, and then dot it around 
This one has a very, very, very faint scent. I could not tell you what it smells like. Again, I'm surprised that this not more heavily fragranced. Now this one, I love the little container box it came in. This is supposed to have award-winning, oh wait, no, it's supposed to be a Hungarian Nobel Prize winning laboratory. And this has developed hydro mineral, mineral transference delivery system for optimal absorption of minerals from healing waters of Budapest for firmer skin. So that's cool, I guess. That seems like they're really putting a lot into that special water. This is soaking in really well. Either my skin is just like ready to receive today or these products are just like doing the most because they're soaking in. That actually feels really nice. It does feel quite silicone-y. There is a lot of slip to it, so I'll be curious to see what the ingredients look like. I've never used any of more Vixa products. I know a lot of people seem to really like like the bomb, if they have a bomb, or a mud mud product, thermal mud. This is nice though. I love this the little baby jars. So cute. Sorry. Okay, so while that's soaking in, we're gonna bounce back over to the eyes. Now we've got some eye cream options, y'all. We have this Caudalie Resveratrol Lift Eye Cream. We have a Thank You Farmer Eye Cream. We have the Jin Yul so, uh, History of Wu Eye Cream. A Pericone Eye Cream. A Sicilia Eye Cream for the fancy girls. And then a Sulawasi Time Charger. So I think I'm gonna save the Time Charger ones if you want a nighttime sample routine, I'll save it for then. I think what we're gonna do is, let's do the Paracone one. I'm sure I know how I'm gonna feel about it, but we're gonna give it a try. This is from the Preempt series, and it's the Brightening Eye Cream with Antioxidant Support Complex. I can't. So this looks like, ooh, that's a lot of eye cream. Okay, well, we're going a lot of eye cream. It's like a little yellow, kind of a gel if you can see that. So I put it on the back of my hand because my eyes shouldn't need that much, I hope. Seems to be quite thin, actually. No smell on that one either. You guys, I didn't, I was expecting so much more fragrance in this little routine. All right guys, sorry, I was putting on the Paracone MD eye cream and then all of a sudden my battery died. I've been having some like major technical difficulties these last few days. So anyways, it's been like 10 minutes. You can see there's still a little bit of a sheen from the Amorvix a high, uh, Amorvix a moisturizer, but the eye gel eye cream has pretty much fully absorbed at this point in time. So I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of an oil. I don't really need much, but I'm staying in for the most part for today, so I'm just gonna do a little, a little bit of an oil. Let's try, I think I wanna try this Osmia Nectar Vital Rose Drops. I don't think I've ever used any Osmia products. I know they have some, like soaps, bar soap things, and some other products, but I've never tried them. Let's go with like, I don't know. This seems like a pretty thin oil. We'll do five drops. So this looks like a pretty runny oil. No real scent, again. So actually, what's been working out really well, all of these products are playing really well together. I haven't had any pilling. Nothing is rubbing up. I actually rubbed my face just to see if anything would react. And it's all playing really, really well together. So I'm impressed by that. Usually, like, if I were to just throw products together like this, I figured there'd be a lot of fragrance, there'd be a lot of pilling, and... But no, I, I am thoroughly impressed. So this is a very lightweight oil. It seems... I'll show you on the back of my hand. Just very lightweight, no no scent. I'm guessing there's no essential oils in here, so if that's something that you like, if that's something that you appreciate, then this might be a good oil for you. Obviously, Vital Rose is the name, so I'm guessing there is some type of rose or multiple types of rose. One thing I like to do with oils after I mist and press them into my skin, I do like to do another layer of mist just to further help with the absorption process. Maybe, come on you. I think I would pick this up. I really like this antioxidant face mist. And then after I press, I will just do a little little rub, help expedite the process. Obviously, if I were not in front of a camera, I would be letting this soak in a little bit, but that looks pretty nice. I like that. Just a really nice little glow. Seems like it would absorb fairly quickly, or it is absorbing fairly quickly. It's a very light oil, so I think that this would be great for daytime use, which is what it is. Finally, 
I have a couple options for sunscreens. So I have this NARS Radiance Primer Broad Spectrum SPF 35. This looks purely chemical. Then I have a Smooth and Protect Primer SPF 50, purely chemical. I have a Benton Papaya D Sun Cream SPF 38 PA Triple Plus. I have no clue what this is because it's Korean. Then I have the Aven Othermal Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Plus UVA UV Protection with antioxidants, water resistant up to 80 up to 80 minutes, ultra lightweight hydrating lotion, sheer and non whitening, and this is. Purely physical. 4% titanium dioxide, 6% zinc oxide. So we're gonna give this one a try. I've actually never ever tried a single Aven product ever. So we'll try this. And one final mist, we'll just use this up. Sometimes if you have trouble rubbing in physical sunscreens, if you do a little bit of a mist, it helps absorb it or helps to rub it in a little bit. Obviously, don't totally wet your face because you will not get the proper sun protection, but we'll see what this looks like. And I put, ooh, it's quite thin for a physical sunscreen. So we'll see what she looks like. As I told you guys in the last few videos, I've been trying to use more just physical or mainly physical sunscreens because I'm really struggling with chemical filters burning my eyes. I think what's happening is I'm sweating or I'm, or I'm getting warm and they are migrating into my eye area. But it's quite sheer. It's really not any type of cast. I'm gonna do a little bit more for the back of my neck and my ears. Don't forget your ears when you do sunscreen. And I usually will go, I'll do like a layer of sunscreen and then I'll brush my teeth and do another layer just because extra protection. I like that one. That actually sits really nice. I'd be curious to see what that looks like price, price wise. This looks like it would be a nice primer too. Two main ingredients of it are dimethicone and dimethicone. So I think that would make for a nice primer, really lightweight. So if you find that sunscreens are too heavy generally, this might be a nice option for you. And yeah, so that's it, you guys. That's my little skincare routine. So we started with the Phytomore Scrub, went to the Sanitas Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, didn't really care for that. Went on to the Phytovital Moisturizing Gel Cream, loved that one. We did the Hua Hyun Essence from History of Wu. That was a cream, not an essence. So that was weird. Then we went on to the... Solwasu Hydrate Moisturizing Lifting Serum and the Solwasu Snowwise X Brightening Serum. The Solwasu Hydrating Serum was a cream, the Brightening Serum was a gel. Then we did the Suzanne Kaufman Eye Fluid, the Pericone MD Preempt Series Brightening Eye Cream, a Moravixa Hydra Lifting Intense Cream, the Osmia Nectar Vital Rose Drops. Of course, we use the Red Flower Toning Mist, and then we finish all of it up with the Aven SPF 50 Plus. So that was my daytime skincare routine. Now, if you want to see, like I said, I've said it a few times, but if you at all liked this video, let me do. No, I'll do a PM skincare routine. I have a bunch more samples, and yeah. Let me know, I can put that together. Let me know if you guys do any type of routine using samples, throw it on your Instagram, tag me in it. And don't forget to follow my socials linked in the description bar down below. That's all for this video guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.